So in this exercise, in this mobility drill, what I'm trying to do here is help target not only the upper thoracic movement, but also the lower back. Very good exercise that you can do in the morning. Simple, very effective. If you get up, you wake up with lower back pain. Um, and we're also improving the rotation of the spine. Now, the simple setup is making sure that your feet are in on the ground, um, center lined in front of you. And we're just gonna do dropping our knees to the side, the same side we're gonna drop them. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna see that we're gonna create a 90-90 angled in our feet. And our hand is gonna go directly behind us in line with our hip. Once it's in line with the hip, there's three cues that you're trying to do. It doesn't matter which, which order, as long as you do the three. The first one is going to be rotating and using the shoulder as the point of twist rather than the hand. So we want to use the shoulder as the point of pull and the arm or the elbow or the arm is the additional weight. So we don't want to just try and turn our hand out like this. We want to really move our shoulder back and then open up the chest. Now, what's most important and crucial of this is the breath. A lot of times people <clears throat> hold their breath and sort of, um, um, sort of contract. You basically can tighten in your muscles when you're holding your breath. So it's important that you breathe out through your stomach to try and help with the rotation that you're probably wanting to increase. The next point is then when we come round, we're going to bend the arm at the back slightly to go low. And then we're going to try and thread our hand in between the gap. Again, the breath is just as important. So we're going to be <sighs> exhaling through the, through the mouth to try and let sort of that sort of tension in the lower back. Then the final one is again, we're going to put both hands on the floor and then posture up to be able to get more of a deeper stretch down the side here. What I will do is I will demonstrate from the other side so you can basically see. So 90, 90 angle, hand behind your back. And then we're going to be rotating. Bend the elbow through. So when I'm rotating, this arm stays straight. But when one common thing you want to be mindful of is not letting that shoulder round through as well. You want to try and keep the shoulder back as I rotate. And then when I'm coming through, bend the elbow. And I'm trying to really twist and cork my, my body through that gap. And then I posture up with both hands straight. And again, the breath is important. An excellent one that you can do before your workout if you feel a bit tight maybe had a long day at work and you want to get the body uh, rotating in good natural movement um, spending i would say you could spend up to like one to three minutes on one side and one to three minutes on the other and i'm certain you'll see a better release maybe one side might be tighter than another this is where i would recommend that the person would be spending an extra little bit of time on that other side so maybe two minutes one side one minute the other so you can help with finding the, the balance of both sides. Give that a go. If you have any questions, please feel free to drop me a DM at any time.